Hey guys, it's Brian and welcome to my Dying Light Collectible Guide. Now I'm going to show you all the collectibles that pertain to the trophy in the slums in this video. I'm going to do a second video with just Old Town, but in the slums I'm going to take you around doing the battle journals and notes. Now if you want a copy of this map, I do have a link in the description so you can pull it up in another browser or another tab and you can reference this if you like. Now how I'm going to do this is I'm going to start in the bottom left corner and do the battle journals first and then I'm going to do another uh, swing around the map doing just a note. So I'm going to start in the bottom left in the sewers at number 11 down there now this is the only one that's actually not in the slums this is in the sewers section and there's no map so i can't show you a waypoint marker but when you go through this, this entrance you're going to eventually come to a point where you can go outside or continue straight in the sewers now stay inside don't go outside and then just head back here and you'll eventually come to this dead end uh, room and next to this teddy bear on the chest is battle journal number 11. Now feel free to check the description if you just want to find a specific location for a certain number collectible. I do have a timestamp links in the description so you can do that. Now pay attention to the blue waypoint markers because that is the exact spot where the, uh, the collectible is going to be at. But battle journal number 10 as I'm moving a little north and going around the map was right there. Number 6 is going to be a little further up into the west. Again pause the video and you can place a waypoint marker. I'm kind of going through this quick. Uh, once you see the location on the map and where I'm picking up, it's pretty obvious. So now kind of swinging around here, this is going to be at the uh, bus depot. And it's going to be in the little building. It's going to be on a bench. Now the next one is going to be uh, just a little further southeast of there. It's going to be outside the Bites Motel. Actually inside the Bites Motel. Once you enter it, go to the room to the right and it'll be right behind the desk. Number six, you can see the location on that. Again, pause the video and place your waypoint marker right where my uh, blue marker is at. But this is actually in the safe house area, actually right on your uh, bed, so you're probably not going to miss that one. Now this is a little further east. This is actually going to be in the back of a car. You have to look in the trunk in order to get it. Now I'm kind of heading a little south now. Then I'm going to uh, loop uh, around to the right, but we're heading south. And this is going to be near uh, another safe house area. And this is going to be in the blue building right in front of me here. It's a three-story building. And what you need to do is go all the way to the top floor. And it's going to be just outside. All right, next one is going to be actually in the safe house area as well, right by another bed. And uh, we're going to just go in here. And once you're in here, it's going to be just in the corner to our right. All right, the next one is going to be actually in the main tower, the big tower. The headquarters and everything is located there. And you're going to take the elevator up. And then when you get off the elevator, you want to go into this door over here. Again, I can't show you a waypoint marker because there is no uh, a map for it, unfortunately. You can see the uh, mini-map, though, if you want to look for it. Battle journal number zero. For some reason, they number these starting at zero. And this one is also going to be in the tower. It's actually going to be on the lower section of the tower, right next to the uh, quartermaster there on the shelf, right to the left of them and up. All right, so now we're heading east, and uh, we have another little village here, another safe area. And this is going to be on top of the, uh, the pretty big building near the front entrance, and it's going to be right here on the chair. Now, a battle journal number five. Now, this is going to be the last battle journal here in the slums, and this is going to require you to make it to the far end of the bridge. So you're going to have to climb up the towers and zip line down. But you come in here, there's going to be a whole bunch of medical supplies for you, but here on the stool is the battle journal. So let's go ahead and take a look at the notes. I'm going to do this starting at number 21 in the bottom left corner and head up to 13 and 14 from there and continue clockwise all the way around until we make a complete loop. Again, I do have a link in the description for that map if you want to pull it up. And again, check my description uh, for uh, the timestamps if you're looking for a specific one. Now, number 21 here is in this little house. Now, this one, along with a lot of these notes, you can't access until you're at a certain point in the quest lines. This required, that one required the Mother's Day quest in order for you to enter that building. 
Now heading up here we got the junkyard and just outside on this little bench is going to be another note. And a lot of these notes are going to require you to be on a specific uh, quest or complete a side quest. Now in the same area is going to be a garage here and after you complete a series of quests for the guy here at the uh, junkyard you'll get a little safe house as well as uh, a note right there right by the, uh, the bed. So heading a little north of there we have the power station and it's actually going to be right to the uh, attached to the uh, medical box there. Now notes, uh, there's three notes here near the school and the first one is going to be once you enter this I believe you also have to uh, be far enough into the story to get this. The note's going to be in the little office when you first enter it to the right and there's actually going to be another note uh, just in the main room we just entered from and it's going to be over here and it's going to be on the table. Now there's going to be a third note that's also here near the school. It's actually just outside. So what we're going to do is head outside and there's going to be a, a green shipping container and it's going to be inside of that shipping container. <laughs> Again, I just got to reiterate it. A lot of these aren't going to be available until you've uh, done certain side quests. Note number 25, actually 25 and 24 in the same area. This one is going to require you to also be on the total security quest. You come up here before then, it, the, the notes won't be here. But this is at the very top of the building you gotta climb up. There will be one note there, and then there's gonna be another one on top of this little uh, this uh, little structure here, and it's gonna be on that little blue box, or whatever that is. Then you do need the total security quest to get up there. So we got another note here, and this is going to be another safe area, and it's going to be inside this little room here. It's right there on the table. All right, nearby there's going to be a uh, supermarket. Now this one is not going to be available either right away. It didn't come available until I completed the Oh Brother Where Out Thou quest. But it'll be right there uh, stuck in the door. Now there's another note in the uh, towers that you climb up and uh, once you climb up the right tower you can walk over to the left tower and it'll be right here and the note is going to be right on the ground. You probably have come across this one naturally. Alright number 10 we're going back to that village that we were at just a little while ago, the fishing village. And this is going to be inside the building here. Now this one and the next one required me to be on the Gas Mask Man side quest. Uh, I believe it's the second or third part of that quest. Because these buildings are locked until you uh, get to that. And a lot of these uh, are in buildings and, and structures that you can't access until you're on that, uh, have completed that side quest. All right, next one up here is the in the Red Flowers Cafe and Bar. Uh, it's pretty noticeable. It's a big red building. And this is going to require you to be on the Where's My Mother quest. And that quest will take you to this building. But you come up to the top floor and it'll be right there on the desk. And nearby, just a little southwest of there, is going to be a, a note number seven. And it's going to be inside of this pawn shop. Now there's actually going to be uh, two notes here, and I believe you have to open that garage door to uh, enter this. And uh, the first note is right there in the drawer next to the cash register. Another one is going to be right behind this door. When you open this door, it'll actually be right around the corner here. Now another note, if you do the hold down your X button and do your little sweep thing, uh, it'll highlight the uh, any, all the collectibles and statues on the uh, map for you. Alright, so the next one is going to be in here. It required me to be on the Survivor's Guide to Zombieland quest. It'll be inside this building on the desk. Now a lot of you are going to ask why I'm not doing the flags and the statues. And that's because there's no uh, trophies tied to them. So I'm not going to show you those locations. Now the next one is going to be on the southernmost part of the map. And it's going to be in this little building here. You need to be on the voltage side quest in order to be able to access this building. All right, so now we're heading up, and this is going to be back at the uh, main uh, tower. 
And I, for this one, it's, it's on the first level, and the elevators are there, and it's going to be right here on this uh, this board here. I actually picked it up earlier, so you don't see me actually picking it up. But then there's going to be another note, and this is going to be just outside. So again, put your uh, blue marker right, you saw mine on the mini-map. And it's going to be here on this memorial wall right next to that teddy bear. Note number one. Of course, we're obviously out of order. And this is going to be a little further northwest. And note number one is going to be inside of this building. And there's a, this is another safe house, so it's in the same room with your bed. You'll find it right there on the corner. And then there's a few notes over here in this other safe house area. And uh, the, one's going to be here on this desk where you see this guy is kind of eating some soup or something. It's right on the corner of that desk. And then there'll be a uh, second one in the same area, just a little tiny bit south from that location, to be honest with you. And it's going to be where this old woman is at. And it'll be right there on the, uh, on the desk. Alright, and then just a little south of there is going to be our uh, second to last note, note number 18. It's another little area here. It's completely fenced in, and next to the pile of garbage bags is going to be the note. Now the final collectible that we're doing in the uh, slums is going to be uh, over here. You see it marked on the map. And what you need to do is, it's in the tunnel. And there's some rooms off of the, uh, the tunnel. And if you come back here, and it'll be right here on the desk. So that's it. That's all the collectibles uh, required for trophies in the first uh, map, the slums map. And uh, I will upload the, up t uh, the Old Town video here shortly. And thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.